So I'm tired of uh, talking about potentially getting ripped off. Hopefully I didn't, but uh, everybody's telling me I did. So I'm I'm probably I'm the most gullible person on the planet probably. But anyway, um, I like being gullible. I'd rather give people the benefit of the doubt uh, until uh, they prove me wrong. Anyway, um, I got this recently. This Prometheus. It's about the first, the only thing I bought in a while. Uh, at least since I made the deal with my wife not to buy anything before Christmas. And believe me, I'm so tempted. But um, this one I picked up for uh, 1999. I had a $5 gift card. Um, frequent buyer, whatever it is, at Best Buy. Uh, normally 29 bucks. I think their list on it is 49 if I'm not mistaken, but that's too high. But this is the uh, Blu-ray, 3D Blu-ray, Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy, uh, Ridley Scott's Prometheus. I haven't seen it, but I thought this cover was kind of cooler than the one that has the guy's face. I don't know. I just kind of thought it was neat looking. Um, and the reason you want this one instead of the two-disc or two-disc digital copy set is because the Blu-ray 3D, my understanding, according to Blu-ray.com, and, and according to the little sticker here on the front, if you notice the difference between the sticker on this one and the other one, both say questions will be answered, both say Ultra beginning and ending, both say ultraviolet, but this one says over seven hours of extras. The other one just says something like uh, hours of extras or something. This one allegedly has two extra hours of, of extras on it. So the difference between, uh, at least at Best Buy, <clears throat> the two disc uh, Blu ray DVD versus the three disc, or maybe it's a four disc, this is a four disc. Anyway, the difference between this one and the other one is $5. So, in my mind, it's worth the five bucks to get the two hours of extras, plus the 3D Blu-ray. Even if you don't have 3D like me, you either hold on to it in case you get a 3D set, or what I'll probably do is put it up on eBay and sell it for you know ten bucks or something. Somebody get a nice uh, deal there on a, on a 3D Blu-ray movie uh, without the case. I'll keep the case, of course. Love the slipcase on this one, and uh, yeah, I'll do a quick. Uh, yeah, will I do an unboxing? I guess I will. It's, it's, you know, I, I apologize for this one-handed deal. It's, it's never that easy with, with one hand, and it makes for some shaky camera work, and so on and so forth. And I don't have it on a. I do own a tripod, but it just so, it seems so much easier to film the thing with my, uh, with my hand. I can kind of zoom in when I want, and I don't know what do you guys do when you, you guys find it easy to do the tripod thing, and still. Uh, Still get good shots when you want them. I'm going to see if I can get this uh, the cellophane wrap off of this fairly easily. Oh, yeah, it's going to come off easily. What do you know? As long as you got to fight this stuff, you know, it's hardly worth it. Oh, by the way, while I'm uh, getting the cellophane wrap off, you know the stickers that, that Best Buy puts on? They put a $29.99 sticker on the uh, slipcase. Why they do that, I have no idea. Um, I don't know why they can't come up with another plan. They scan it anyway. All they have to do is put it, put the price on the shelf like a lot of other places do. But all that aside, I know there's a way to get the gunk off of these things without leaving a mark. But this one seems to be notoriously bad here. Do we have any ideas on how to get that off other than glue gone? I think glue gone works, but I don't feel like buying it. Is there a simpler way? Dish soap or something? I don't know. Uh, what do you guys do? How do you get it off? I don't want to have like fingernail marks where I try to scratch it off. I'd almost rather leave that on, although I really don't want to leave that on. The one at the bottom doesn't bother me as much, but this one really bothers me. So, what do you guys do to get that off? I'll do a, I'll do a, a YouTube search also to see if uh, I can just find something on my own. But maybe you know of something. Come on in. All right, my daughter had a soccer game. That's who was knocking at the door. She had to tell me that they won two to one. Woo! -hoo. I didn't go. I wasn't feeling that. Well, I've been feeling a little great lately. I don't know what's going on. Last week I didn't feel that great. Today I didn't feel that good. Stomach stuff going on. I don't know. Anyway, um, so here's the Prometheus disc. Looks pretty sweet. And just like the uh, just like the slipcover, I guess. Uh, yeah, disc three is the. Uh, I don't know. I, I have to look at the other one, but disc three has uh, bonus features on it, as well as a. Uh, an app, which I think you can probably just get at the App Store. I don't know. But the app is a second screen movie app. 
you can interact with the film. I kind of like that after I've seen it once. Yeah, the first time I don't want to interact, I just want to watch it and sit and veg at it. Especially a movie like this that's supposed to be so visually stunning. So there's a 3D disc. Kind of looks similar to the cover, which is neat. Uh, and the Blu-ray, which looks similar to the other cover, which I think is cool. I think that's good to have that one inside. I'll be getting rid of the uh, 3D disc, like I said, selling it on eBay. And, uh, yeah. Next is uh, Prometheus. The special features. It's a pretty cool picture right there. And then last but not least. Ah, cool. Another cool picture. Uh, the digital copy along with the... Uh, DVD. Yeah. I forgot there's DVD on this thing too. Which comes in handy because I don't I've got like two Blu-ray players, one here in this room. Which getting ready to watch the Golden Age of Television, or at least check check it out real quick. From a successful trade I had recently with the Collector eleven thirty eight, and I've got a video up there somewhere of it. I was gonna watch it for a few seconds to get a look at the quality of it and stuff. I know it's an old film, so it's probably gonna have mediocre quality, but uh Anyway, so but not every TV, not every TV I have has a Blu-ray player, so like uh, the kids can watch this on a couple of sets. And if, if we go somewhere that doesn't have a Blu-ray player, I want to watch it at somebody else's house. I'll let the kids take this where we can take this for if we're visiting people. And they want to share that with their cousins or something. Yeah. I think a lot of people we know now have Blu-ray players, but not everybody does. And if they're going to a sleepover or something, the boys are, and they want to take this. Assuming this is. Uh, I'm assuming this is okay to watch. I didn't see the rating on this. Which rated R? Well, maybe not. I don't know why. I don't know why it's rated R. You know, interesting point here. Oh, I think it's interesting. You guys may think I'm nuts, but you know, during the uh, Clinton administration, um, movies that received an R rating were more likely for violence, uh, whereas movies that had some uh, sexual reference or even partial nudity uh, might have gotten a PG or PG-13, PG-13 probably, uh, in the Reagan administration or or probably the Bush administration. Uh, movies got an R rating more often than not for uh, some sexual references or partial nudity or nudity. And violence oftentimes did not get an R. It would get a PG-13. So... Uh, I guess it's different between Republicans and Democrats. Democrats are okay with sex and uh, not so okay with violence. Republicans are okay with violence, but not so okay with sex. Now, what, if they, what about violent sex? I guess neither one of them would like that. Um, anyway, uh, Prometheus, guys. Uh, four discs. I believe two hours of uh, features that are not on the other version, the non-3D version of Prometheus. Can anybody verify that? That's what I read on Blu-ray.com. And they recommended picking up this version rather than the other one for the extra money. And I, you know, for $5, I would. I would pay $5 for the two hours of extras, especially if they're cool extras. Uh, to me, it's to me, it's worth that. As long as I'm paying, as long as I'm paying 20 bucks, I might as well get something that's got some nice features on it. So that's it. I've never seen it. I'm really looking forward to seeing Prometheus. And again, if anybody has an idea how to get rid of this annoying glue on here, especially on this one, it's really kind of a pretty cover, let me know. I'd be happy to uh, learn from somebody. And I'll also either Google it or search on YouTube. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, have a great uh, rest of the weekend. And hope everybody's uh, doing well. Thanks.